Okay, so here what we have is I ordered um, a Chinese motorcycle. I did a I ordered a Chinese um, four wheeler. Uh, it's been probably a year, year and a half ago. I ordered this one um, from uh, Texas Power Motorsports. I think it is. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, but here it is, delivered directly to the camper. Um, and I got it yesterday. So let's um, let's cut it open and see how it looks. I ordered a green one. Um, so hopefully, I mean, but it says if supplies are available that you would get the color that you wanted. So hopefully, uh, it's the green one, and uh, and we'll go from there. So let's open it up and see what we got. green one. I can see it. Look at the uh, <laughs> look at the crate that it came in. Man, that thing took a banging. Yeah, something's hanging from underneath. Hopefully it's not broken. The hang guards. It's like Christmas. The covers that go on the side of the tank. Well, check it out. Front fender. I think this is the headlight. How cool was that? the handlebars. The uh, speedometer and the gauges. Exhaust pipe. Look at that, he even came with a workbench. So let's see what comes in the box. I believe that's for the handlebars, a little padding for the handlebars. And some turn signal and reflector brackets. And a bag full of nuts and bolts. The clamps for the handlebars. Looks like some sort of skid plate, maybe. Mirrors. Look at that. <laughs> Luggage rack for the back. <laughs> for when we go camping.
like the brake lever. Kickstand. Couple of springs in here for the brake lever and the kickstand, probably. Uh, more turn signals, they're probably for the front because the back ones are already on it. Some more turn signals. Another bracket. More miscellaneous spacers, nuts, bolts, and washers. Shift lever. Gotta have your shift lever. Toolkit, in case you break down on the road. And a battery. And this is a sealed battery too, so I don't have to mix the acid or anything with it. So I'm gonna throw this thing on the charge while we put it together. And then there's an owner's manual inside the box as well. Yeah, owner's manual. Let's go put the battery on the charge. So, so far it's not too bad. The only thing you gotta remember is where you got it from. It's Chinese. So the quality of the metal isn't all that great. So if you put, you know, if you put the old American muscle on it, you're gonna strip the nuts and bolts. So you gotta be you gotta be kind of gentle with that. But um, but all in all, it's going together pretty good. I mean, you know, it's no manual, so you know, no instruction manual to show you how to put it together. So you gotta kind of figure it out on the fly, but um, if you're a little mechanically inclined, it's not that bad.
All right, so I just put some gas in it. Let's see if it'll fire up. So a couple things I wanted to talk about about the um, about the Tau Tau 250, um, which I mean it didn't really surprise me, but there was some missing parts, and I had that same experience with the four wheeler that I bought from China as well. Um, the the missing part for the brake lever it actually goes on the rear master cylinder. It's a little wide piece, and I'll show that to you when I get it, but. Um, it's missing that so you can't you can't hook up the rear brakes at all and um uh a bolt for the skid plate that goes underneath it's missing one of those i had the same issue with the four wheeler it was missing a few uh it was missing a few nuts and bolts and the hand guards um i got the actual hand guards but um none none of the bolts for it in the bag it only had the little plastic adapters that adapted onto the handlebars but um none of the actual nuts and bolts so but i mean which really isn't that big of a deal for the for the price you pay um you know we're having the hassle of going and having to buy a few you know missing nuts and bolts here or there is really isn't that big of a deal but as you see in the video i mean the thing started right up i i only turned the choke on and and work the throttle twice before i hit the button and the, and it fired right up um haven't really ridden it any i mean i went down to the gas station and put more fuel in it and and rode it back so it's about four or five miles so far but um i think it's going to be a pretty cool bike i actually bought it for my daughter to learn how to ride on and um and to take it out and play with it on the trails and stuff so um hopefully soon we'll have a few uh videos of uh of it going up and down some dirt trails we have some power lines not far from the camper so that's what i'm planning on going but other than that yeah i mean i i uh i think it's going to be a pretty cool bike so far i mean you know they are what they are <laughs> they are from china and they're very inexpensive so you know you get what you pay for sometimes but from what i've read on the internet and watched um vlogs there's a big following on these chinese bikes and um and they last people a long time as long as you take care of them it's just like anything else okay so so if you see here here's the brake lever and uh and the way it came to me like this it needed this piece here this piece slides on like that and then there's a pin or it should have a pin that that attaches to it to it like this right here that's what it was missing and i ordered this um from amazon i actually got the whole entire brake reservoir the whole thing the the brake switch the reservoir everything's attached with that piece that i was missing and the bolt um for like 20 25 dollars and it, and it was here in a couple of days so, so i'll leave the link in the description for this piece the the master cylinder the reservoir and you see it's exactly the same here's the hose that that's that's here and the reservoir is uh, is up inside i don't think you can see it yet but but it's up inside and it's ex exactly like this so i'm going to go ahead and put it together put a little pin in the bottom of it here attach the washer and the carter key back here and um and take it out so, again, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching the video, and um, 
Hope you enjoy it, and we'll get some more of this thing going up and down some dirt trails or something. All right, so thanks, guys. See you next time.